Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're back for episode three of Ultra Despair Girls. Rampa, another episode. I'm probably never going to read it in that order. But it is Rampa Ultra Despair Girls. We're back. It's... I swear it's still so loud. And, uh, yeah, we're going to jump into some more, uh, Danganronpa. And that's pretty much it. If you move that electric car, you should be able to run over the Monokumas with it. Yeah, so we're almost Would at... That make yeah. that dead or broken? Well, doesn't matter. I got straight, got got bombarded by Toko dialogue the second we jumped in. But the point is, we're back with more Ultra Despair Girls. I'm excited. Uh, love Urban Hotel. What the hell is going on there with Monokuma? I am very concerned. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, we're about to get to the bridge. I'm curious to see if anything noteworthy happens at the bridge. Uh, I'm really curious to see what else happens in Chapter 1 in general, and I'm just excited to play more of the game. Um, also, hmm. I'm probably not going to do that na-na-na-na-na-na that, that opening anymore, because I think it's a lot cleaner to not show the saves, but then I'm probably going to forget about that and then do it anyways later. Um... You guys know my rea my uh, Let's Plays are very raw, and that's part of it. I've already hit this, haven't I? No, I guess I didn't. Okay. Sure. All right. Let's chat. So cruel. Why do they do such cruel things? They probably don't have a real reason. From what I can tell, they're doing it for fun. It impossible. They're doing something like this for fun? What are these kids? You're right. When I got here, they were already wearing those helmets and marching in the streets. I do wonder if it's like, uh, especially having read Danganronpa Zero, and again, if, if you guys aren't at least familiar with the story, like obviously you don't have to check out my read it through, but if you're not familiar, I, I probably will reference it from time to time moving forward. Um... But given Danganronpa Zero, I am curious as to the context of these Monokuma kids. Uh, because I'm curious, like, how voluntary their situation is. It's certainly possible it is, but, like, it does get kind of... We get into a lot of gray areas with this Monokuma stuff. Killing the adults and bringing Monokumas with them like a parade. Why do they hate the adults? Like I said, I have no idea. I'm just as confused as you are. Stop asking me about every little thing. Mm -hmm. Jeez, you don't have to be so angry. Mm -hmm. It's because you nag just like those brats. Fair. Fair. You, uh, nag Maru. Instead of calling her a toilet, you call her a nagger. Mm -hmm. Get cooked. Okay, that animation was actually pretty funny. The way we cooked it, their asses was actually kind of hilarious. Um, okay, we can't go that way. Do we go up these stairs? Yeah, it looks like we do. We'll take the ammo. Are we fully loaded? Yeah, we are fully loaded. Yeah, we probably should be... Oh, uh, surprise hidden over here. Yep, I see the surprise. I was right on the money. Okay, we can't interact with these kids. They're not even afraid like Toko. Speaking of, <laughs> that's so funny to me. Damn, this is actually, I feel like, a pretty easy uh, surprise to miss. Ooh, it was a skill, too. Oh, shit, okay. I'm, I'm here for it. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay, so... Enemy paralysis time increases slightly after despair time. I literally don't know what that means. Yeah, it's it's even locked. It's like not even something I could use. So I wonder if this has to do with a truth bullet I don't have. Like paralysis bullet, I guess. Um, but also, what the fuck? What is despair time in the context of ultra despair girls? Like, I know what... Yeah. 
I'm just playing with the buttons right now, to be honest. Okay, that kid is... That kid be running. And we be chasing. Well, that's fucked. Um... Any goodies? No? Okay, I guess it's bridge time. Here we go. Let's get it. What's gonna happen on the bridge? Yes! All we gotta do now is cross the bridge! We did it, Toko. Just a little more. We're going to be all right. Yeah, it's never that easy, especially in this series. Also, you notice how the bridge is even black and white? It's literally like, I don't know if that was just its coincidence or they actually did it to that, but it's a Monokuma colored bridge. That's pretty funny. I wonder if it will really end this easily. Yes, that is the correct uh, mindset to have, Toko. Huh? I, I have a bad feeling about this. This bridge has... A a dangerous scent. That's an interesting comment, but given Genocide Jack, maybe maybe you have you have something to say. Like Toko, like it's weird. Jesus Christ! What I'm trying to say is that's a weird thing to say, but coming from Toko, I I I tend to believe that there's some sliver of truth to it. Oh shit! New character. Uh. You guys don't uh, look like you're with those kids. Hello, male, uh, gender bent Asahina? Also, dog can go like three cups, rice dog, oh, love? That is literally like when, um, in in uh, that is literally the the ja the, the 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 equivalent of people who get tattoos of like random Chinese or Japanese characters, and, and it turns out some random fucking shit. That is like the equivalent but reversed. Like what the fuck? Um, unless that's supposed to have some stupid meaning. I mean, with this series, I I, I wouldn't put it past them. But what the fuck? Um, so this is Hina's brother. Yeah, I mean, clearly is supposed to be relatively young. Hina's age, maybe younger. I mean, especially given timeline-wise, Hina would be a little older at this point. Like, Hina would be in her 20s, so I'm assuming... So... Wait a minute. Oh, god damn it! I can't pause. Yeah, I guess because we're in, like, an event. But, um, I was gonna say, we got a hit list for, um... Taka's father... Now we have, I'm assuming, Hina's brother, and we're playing as Makoto's sister. I wonder if these captives are all going to be characters with familial ties to the characters in Trigger Happy Havoc. Because given when this, again, this game, again definitely taking place like we're like 95% sure at this point it's in between one and two um so I wonder this does make me think even more that the remnants of despair are involved though because if if all of these kids and well not even kids but if all of these family members of the Junko's class are have uh are, are like captives in toa city but this has to be the work of junko's subordinates of junko's followers of junko's worshipers whatever the fuck you want to call them and like this has to be remnants and like it's extra suspicious because obviously we have nagito parading around as the warriors of hope's servant when in reality he might be at least somewhat pulling the strings or at least operating as as a liaison for other members of the remnants of despair there's like so many layers to this and we like don't there's just so much possibility it's also extra suspicious because we've already referenced izuru as well anyways i guess we're meeting hina's brother it's got to be brother although i'm not gonna lie I know this is going to be blasphemous. I'm not going to lie. Bro low-key might actually be cuter than Hina. Like, 
Unfortunately, he doesn't have the same chest that Hina does, um, or just assets in general that Hina does. But, like, purely face, unironically, might be cuter than uh, Aoi. That means you're on my side, right? Right? Sure. Huh? Uh, yeah. I knew it! Yes, oh, this is fantastic! Man, it's been forever since I've seen a normal person. I'm so happy. Nice. I hate this kind of guy. Just walking up and talking to a girl like it was nothing. Uh, I think this handshake is over now. Hey, how much longer are you gonna hold her hand? You're like a creepy fan meeting an idol. I love how, to like, I, I, I kind of agree with Toko a tiny bit, but I think more than that, it's just funny. Like, I love how Toko just gets triggered by this type of stuff, unless it's her imagining it involving herself and Byakuya. Uh, no, it's not like that. It's just this wristband. Oh, oh. Does little bro have a wristband too? Could it be? Were you also captured by those kids who call themselves the Warriors of Hope? Oh shit. Huh? And then you got thrown out here and told it was part of some game, right? So they're making all the captives, which is all of the family members of the original, of Junko's class, the original characters from the first game, play this death game. Well look, me too! And so far, we know that it's Taka's father, Makoto's sister, and um, Hina's brother. Oh, that wristband. Oh, this is great. I wonder if we're going to meet all these characters. Well, not completely great. I'm already at my wit's end trying to figure out what to do. It's actually really interesting. Like, meeting characters like this was really like not that high on my like radar of things we might do in this series i guess i'm not shocked like completely shocked that we met makoto's sister i certainly didn't expect her to be the main fucking character of one of the games uh but uh, purely because we've seen a picture of her even though she looks a little different than in the picture the fact that we got like art of her in the first game i feel like kind of makes it like a little more likely that she was going to show up later. I guess I was just so relieved to see someone in the same spot I'm in. Still, could be better. Sure. I sort of understand. I'm also a little glad to know that I'm not alone in this situation. Sure. Right, right? Oh, that reminds me. I never told you my name. I'm Yuta, Yuta. Asahina. All right, I'm down. Yuta, let's get it. Yep, and there's Toko with the reaction, even though... I mean, I get it's like anime world. I know it's a game, but you, you get what I'm saying. Um, so it's like it, taking the dead ringer for uh, with a, a somewhat of a grain of salt. But even still, this guy literally looks exactly like Aoi. So, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I get that the bigger shock is just hearing that name and understanding who it is. It's even worse because Hina is one of the characters that is, is alive. Like, Hina is a member of the Future Foundation at this point in the timeline. So, it's interesting that we are seeing her brother. And potentially might have more than one reunion by the end of this game. Although, I don't even know if we... I don't... I... I, I I don't know if we even see Makoto in this game, and if we do, it's probably going to be at the very end, but it would be cool if um, at the very end, like, uh, Komaru and Makoto are reunited, and, and maybe even Yuda and um, Aoi. I'm Komaru Naegi. Nice to meet you, Yuda. Okay. Komaru Naegi. Yep. What are you doing? Writing it on his palm. Oh, this? If you want to really remember a name, write it down on your palm three times. Nice. Oh, I see. I I've never heard of that. I happen to have heard of that. I wonder where I heard it. Oh, but seriously? It is so reassuring to finally have a friend to work together with. 
Fair enough, yeah. I mean, the more the merrier, I guess. Oh, hey, by the way, who's this? She's been, um, glaring at me this whole time. I do wonder if Yuta's gonna make it through the game, though. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it would be brutal, but knowing this series, I... Like, maybe he makes it through, like, a couple chapters, but I kind of doubt Bro's gonna make it through the whole game, to be perfectly honest, even though... It would be... It would be funny if they did a thing where, like, the characters uh, related to the survivors also make it out. I, that would be a little too... I feel like that'd be a little too silly, but you never know. Oh, this is Toko. Toko Fukawa. Mm. It's fine. You don't have to make introductions like this. Not for an outcast like me. <laughs> Classic Toko. Listen to you two, going on like you're lovers already, and you j just met. God damn it, Toko. It, it's not like that. The worst part is Komaru's actually embarrassed about it. Well, come on. I'm sure we'd all be happier on that side of the bridge. And Yuta just no-sells it. Now let's hurry up and get out of this town. So what the fuck's gonna happen now on this bridge? Now that we have, we have another character. Toko, we should go too. Yeah, I'm with Toko on this. Like, I'm not saying don't go. I'm saying let's be cautious. I swear to God, they're what gonna is it? fucking bro. They're gonna like bomb the bridge or something. They're gonna come in with like a helicopter, drop drop a fucking bomb or some crazy nonsense. Like I said, I I don't like it. I have a very bad feeling about this. Cause I can't think of anything else that could happen on a bridge. Really, it's not like. It's not like, an, uh, like a tanker is going to explode and destroy the bridge that way or oh, anything. Oh, you're just being paranoid. Come on, if we don't hurry, Yuta will leave us behind. Hey, don't just run off. Hold on. Oh, you could figure it out. As fucked up as her shit is, the slit This way, let's go. Kind of hot, not going to lie. Yuta, Talking about slow Toko, down. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying. So he's athletic too. Must be in the jeans. Nice, we got a line. Hey, this way. We got a line. If we're gonna get a bunch of dialogue, I don't wanna if like accidentally this skip bridge, any. We're outside Toa City. I'm sure those kids won't chase us. Bro, they didn't even animate the bridge past a certain point. That's actually kind of funny. Once we're out of this town, let's celebrate by toasting with sports drinks. Who toasts with sports drinks? I don't care if you are like an athlete. That's just weird. Huh? Wait, hold on. Yep, the bridge. There's the bridge just ends here. Okay, so they already blew up the bridge. Are you kidding me? What's going on here? The bridge collapsed. It, dude. How long was this bridge? It's literally like goes on to nowhere. No. Isn't there something we can do? I know that's because they just didn't make it like that, but still. There's nothing we can do. It's impossible to get over the bridge now. Damn. Damn it, we were almost there. Stop screwing with us. What the hell is this? Yeah, I mean, I, I understand, like, you were excited and all, but trust me, none of us on this side of the computer screen, on this side of the TV, whatever, this side of the phone, whatever you're watching with, tablet, whatever, no, it's, it's a monitor for me. But none of us... For a second, thought it would be that easy. Come on. Hmm. How pathetic. Giving up right away just because things got a little screwed up. I mean, I agree with the message, but you don't have to call him pathetic. If you have the energy to shout and scream like that, use it to move your weak ass instead. Damn, Toko. I mean, again, I agree with the sentiment, but you don't need to be that strong about it. I mean, he's just a little frustrated, and rightfully so. It's very Toko, though. Huh? M move? the fuck just go back to the city this part of the bridge might be unstable as well mm. go back you want us to actually go back there yes that's the only way if you want to live you can't always take the easy path sometimes you got to take the painful ones yeah but y y y some and uh you can't run from your problems 
On that path, you might suffer and writhe in pain, but at least you'll survive. Damn, Toko has wi is so much wiser than she was in the first game. It's actually crazy to see, like, how much she's grown as a character while still being authentically Toko Fukawa. Like, they haven't, like... This is something that's really hard to do as a writer, and I could talk from uh, experience in trying to write characters, especially over long periods of time and over a lot of, like, uh, big moments that impact and, and uh, change who they are and make them grow as characters, is making a character grow and truly change and evolve while still authentically being... Uh, having the spirit of the character f that they had from the beginning. That actually can be really hard to do. And it's something that I really get with Toko in this game. Like, I feel like she's... Um, she is a fully grown, a dolled-ass woman that's been through hell and back. And in the process, she's become a more complete person. She still has her quirks, and she still puts herself down, and she's still authentically Toko. She's still the Toko from the first game, but man, has she grown up. Um, I guess it's actually wild. Like, I love Toko in the first game, but I will say, I almost feel like already I love Toko more now. Just from what we've already gotten in UDG so far. You say that as if you've experienced it before. <laughs> yep. What? What the fuck? Oh my god, they are blowing up the bridge after all! Okay, they didn't come down and bomb it, but they set off charges underneath, which actually makes a lot more sense. Bro. The fucking Monokuma kids. It's not even the Warriors of Hope. It is weird how there's like three different levels of cutscenes in this game, though. Oh, we're, 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 is this like a challenge or something, or like? Oh yeah, there's a time limit. Okay. Oh shit, we actually have to like fight Monokumas too in the process. Well, I do want my coins. The trailer is blocking the way. Is there some way we can move this? Dude, what the fuck? I could not hit this guy. Oh, the trailer way up there. Okay. I was like, what the fuck What's are they talking them? about? Oh, yeah, obviously. Like, that was so... Like, there's oh, just obviously a fucking... Full speed. We gotta run. It's gonna oh, there's collapse. another tanker, which means there's gotta be another... No, I know. Wait, where's the... Damn it, they came out again. Oh. God damn it. Uh, we're done Easy for. money. Wait, is that Just already it? Now. What the fuck? That's already it. Okay, that wasn't even... I could have did that a lot faster, but I was focusing on killing that one one the fuck. I wanted my coins or ammo, god damn it. Holy shit. Wow, that bridge is literally gone. Burning your bridges, huh? Okay. I, I thought we were gonna die. Bro, like, I get the sweat, but why are you drooling, Toko? It, save the drool for Byakuya. We're safe for now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're chill. We're being chillin'. This is fine. Like, I mean, I kind of expected it, and then the bridge was already blown out, so I was like, okay, I guess we're not having the bridge explode, and then the bridge still explodes, so they kind of double-faked me in a weird way. But with the bridge like this, there's no way we can get across. Oh, you'll be fine, Yuta. Don't worry about it. N now we have no chance of escape. Oh, don't worry. We'll find it in like five or six chapters. No, not yet. I'm not going to give up yet. What the fuck? Well, I mean, why are you yelling? Well, I mean, it's good that you're not going to give up, but that that seemed like a slightly overdramatic reaction. I guess this is just the type of potato Yuta is. Yeah. How do I explain it? Well, with all the despair I've felt so far, I've prepared myself. Okay. 
And if I don't do everything I can, I know that nothing's going to get solved. Okay. What are you doing? It looks like he's warming up. Isn't it obvious? I'll swim. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shut up. One, this is a terrible idea, but two, shut up. Are we going to get a reference to uh, Asa... Uh, well, Aoi? I, I can't even call her Asahina. I mean, it's... That's just... I mean... The family name, I mean, when we're literally looking at Nasahina, I gotta call her Aoi. What? Swim? Yes, that is the appropriate reaction, Komaru. Yeah, I mean, my specialty is more track and field. Ah, I'm not okay. That confident in swimming. Fair enough. Also, I we literally, I know that part of that could have been just because, you know, again, this isn't like a super high budget game or anything, and they weren't it, to not animate it, but like they didn't even show us, like, any sign of land. I, I Again, I know this is like, the, uh, you know, off the coast or whatever, but like, how far off the coast is this? Well, it's not that I'm not a good swimmer. It's just, there was always someone better. There's the reference to our ultimate swimming pro. But now's not the time for that. Can't chicken out now. Not giving up is good. I... I don't know how I feel about actually trying to swim to the other side. All of a sudden, now there's buildings. Even though we're further away, now there's buildings on the other side. Like, there's a city over there. Wait! Even if you are gonna swim, it looks really far to the other side. It actually doesn't look nearly as far as before when there was literally nothing out there. Yeah, that looks pretty tiring. I mean, I'm sure this guy's got great endurance, given his family. I mean, like he said, even if his specialty is more track and field, or and there was always a better swimmer, I imagine, um, I imagine he's pretty athletic. And he looks athletic, from what we can tell. But the water is freezing, and with all the pollution, uh, there are weird creatures in there. I highly doubt that, but sure. Then I guess I'll just be extra careful. Like, is there a fucking, like, weird, like, mutated sea monsters in the Danganronpa universe? That would be pretty based, but... No, it's not that. I'm telling you not to try it, you idiot swimmer. D don't be a hero. Idiot swimmer? But I'm on the track team! That's her interactions with Aoi slipping out. <sighs> anyway, this isn't the time to rush into things. Let's think this out. Gotta agree with Toko on this one. This, like, it's not the worst idea I've ever heard, but it's certainly a bit reckless. I'm honored that you worry about me, but I've already made up my mind. So you're just going to refuse to listen to reason? Apparently. Look, all I have to do is ask for help from those future Foundation guys after I cross, right? That would be the goal, yes. Oh, bring back help. I promise. No matter what it takes. So just wait for me until then, okay? Uh, Yuda? Hmm? Um, be careful. If you run into any trouble, come back right away, okay? Hey, no need to worry. I'll get to the other side any way I can. I sure hope so. I mean, I guess it's possible that he gets to the other side and, like, that kind of sets up a future foundation, like, retrieval mission or something something for later. And, like, Yuta comes back maybe near the end as, like, our hero and saves us from certain doom near the end of the game or something. I guess that's possible. But I am not optimistic about Yuta getting to the other side here. Oh no. Oh no! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I know what this is. Now technically they did do- Now they did do this with- They did do this with Komaru before. But this is an execution scene! Oh, I love how excited Komaru was and how Toko would nervous- Oh. Shit. Shit. And fuck. There goes Yuda. Jesus Christ. I- that was certainly a thought in my head.
Oh, that's so good. Oh, oh, and then the, and then it speeds back up in the, the water splash. Oh, that was so good. That pan shot. Oh, my God. The fucking dead eyes on Komaru. That pan shot into Komaru was so good. That was actually one of the best little, like, notes of direction in the game so far. That looked fantastic. Shouts to the director on that one. What? Yeah. I'm not really beat up about it because we just met him and there was definitely a chance that was going to happen. Uh, a decent chance, in fact. I, I, you know, I didn't think it was impossible. And, and I, even when they started to do the, uh, the execution, um, like animation style, like I, I wasn't completely convinced just because they have done this with Komaru and she has survived already in the game. So like, obviously... That didn't necessarily mean death, but in this case, it did. Holy shit, that's rough. N no, what's happening? Dongon Rampa, that's what's happening. Yep, Toko knows the feeling all too well. It's even worse because Toko knows um, Yuta's big sister. Toko, what do we do? We've got to hurry and save him. Yuta is... Oh my god, that little extra bit of hyperventilating. Oh man, it, I, I would have loved a little more, but that was still really good. Are you serious? Yeah, you gotta face reality, girl. <laughs> what we just saw. Do you seriously think that it's possible for him to be alive after that? Yeah, bro got, bro exploded. If there's anything left of him, he's drowned now. No. No. Jesus. Man, she's such a... I always forget her name because it's kind of hard to say. Um, uh, and she's been actually in a lot of stuff that I've reacted to. Again, I most most notably for me is uh, Suzuha and Steins Gate. But the, the VA that plays Komaru is great. You gain nothing from averting your eyes from reality. No matter how horrible or painful. Listen, we saw Yuta Asahina and we saw that huge explosion. He's dead. Ooh, there it is. You can't run away from reality, Komaru. And you need Toko to tell this to you straight. You can't run from it. He died. Yep. Yuda died. <laughs> but why? Not everything in life is fair. The reason doesn't matter. Even if we refuse to accept or understand it, it's the truth. That's reality. Sure. Damn, she just fell to her knees. <laughs> you, you, nothing's going to change, no matter how hard you cry. Toko's right, but obviously Komaru is going through an incredibly traumatic experience. And obviously Toko's a... Uh, you know, she's a hardened veteran. She's been through this shit before. I mean, on top of the fact that she's went through the trauma of having a serial killer for an alter ego her whole life and, and, and being, you know, indirectly responsible for the murder of many people. On top of that, she's dealt with this type of shit before with the events of Danganronpa 1 and whatever she's gotten up to as part of the Future Foundation since. <laughs> <laughs> and this is like an incredibly reasonable reaction for Komaru to have. Come on, that's enough. If you're done crying, we should get going. But what Toko's saying is is correct too. Like as as much as as we want to grieve and mourn what just happened and, and Unfortunately, Komaru doesn't have the luxury to do that. She has to keep moving or she's going to die herself. If we stay here, we're going to be an easy target for Monokumas. Among other things. It's, it's impossible. Impossible? What are you talking about? If you just give up now, you're going to die. <laughs> I'm just gonna die anyway. I'm like you. I'm 
I'm just some normal, regular girl. I, I can't even do anything. No matter what I do, or how hard I try, I'm, I'm just gonna die here. Jesus. So you're saying you're just giving up? Stop screwing around. I won't let you. Hmm. You want to die, huh? Well, if you really want to die that much, I won't stop you. Damn. But are you really sure you want to die? You, you want to die right here? In this place? Not seeing your family or friends ever again? Like, as aggressive as Toko is being, like, this is so... Courageous and like this is so Toko would never say stuff like this in the first game and it's like really cool I, I know I already went uh talked a little bit about this not that long ago in this episode But Toko has grown so much as a person and as a character. It's actually kind of incredible to see Are you really just gonna accept that? Of course not I won I want to see my family uh. But but we've been separated for over a year. I don't even know where they are. It's probably too late anyway. I'll probably never see them again. <laughs> uh. Can't you just be a little more positive instead of giving up right away all the time? It's not in her nature. That's the thing, and, and and I like that Komaru is not female Makoto. Like, as fucked up as this is, like, Makoto, as, as much as, as he would feel it, you know, he is the type to brush himself off and keep moving forward, whereas Komaru doesn't necessarily have that same degree of willpower in her, and that's why I think the structure of this game is really interesting, because Toko is here to prop her up and help her and help her keep moving forward so it's like obviously you know similarly though in dr1 like makoto wouldn't have been able to do everything without the help that he got obviously kyoko in particular was a big help but it, it's somewhat of a different dynamic here and it is really, it's really interesting. This is like really cool. This is another great scene. We talked about how we had that one really great scene last episode that I was sad. Uh, and, and, and now we're getting an even better scene. Like this is probably my new favorite scene, I think, of the game. No, you don't understand. Ooh. The worst despair of all comes from having hope like that. Oh. And, like, that's just something that, like, that's, all. Oh, that's such a brutal line. And obviously, given Komaru's recent history with being imprisoned and everything, it makes a lot of sense. And even going back to before she was kidnapped and how, you know, she kept, kept the faith, had hope, and everything went wrong. Everything got worse. And every time she's believed and hoped for something better... She's only been greeted by despair, and it's hurt her even more. And, and and that that's why she continues to not want to try and you know that that's herself convincing herself not to move forward because if she moves forward, something even worse will happen. Having such strong hope mm -hmm. and just losing it in an instant, like what we just saw. Exactly. So why don't you just overcome that despair as well? Damn, Toko's just like fuck it we ball she's just like nah 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 we we're going to overcome everything and keep growing and getting stronger and moving forward anyways although i doubt you're even willing to listen in your state if that's the case at least run yeah because if you run you might have a chance to change your mind later you're saying that you're going to die anyway so you're at least prepared right god toko's so good in this game what the fuck if you think you're going to die, at least run away. Yes. If you're wrong, you live. Yep, and if not, well, then at least you're ready. If you were right, yep. then at least you die on the yep. run. And not just standing here, suffering. God, so good. Why? Why do you bother trying to cheer someone like me up? Because she was there once upon a time. Like I said, 
I'm a member of Future Foundation, and I can't just abandon you. Sure, but it's deeper than that, Toko. But if you keep up that sniveling and crying, I'll start to seriously consider it. Yeah, sure. Well, she got back up. Okay. I'll try. At least a little bit longer. Oh. I really like this main character dynamic we have going on in this game. Jeez, you're such a burden. <laughs> Fucking hell, Toko. You said to just run, but what are our options at this point? The bridge is a no-go, and there's no other way to get out of town, right? That we know of. Did you forget what I just told you? You can't just give up right away. Yeah. It's also kind of a war of attrition. Like, the longer you last, I assume the more impatient the Warriors of Hope will get, and then you'll get to your inevitable outcome, either death or escape, sooner or later. Anyway, now that I think about it, I remember a subway running through this town. Okay, so we're going underground then? Huh? A subway? Did the subway line go out of the city? Mm, yeah, I think it did. You should have said that before! Well, sorry. I just remembered it right now. And besides, there's no way the trains work. Hmm. Sure, but we could... We could take the... We don't need the trains. We could just take the path of the subway. You're right. If the power's out, they definitely won't be working. We're trapped. No, but you can still walk down the path. Ugh, like I said, you can't give up so easily. I'm sure Toko's about to explain what I just explained. Even if the train stopped working, yep. we can get out of town if we just walk along the tracks. Exactly. So don't give up. And let's go. I yeah. Okay. Yeah, at least that's a plan. I feel like that's something Komaru can actually sink her teeth into. It doesn't seem aimless. Like, they actually have a direction. Well, that looks so weird. I don't weird. know if it's okay to say this, but... I'll do it for Yuta's sake as well. Yeah, so doesn't that look so silly? Um, but yeah, uh, it's okay to say that. I'm sure Yuta would want you to escape and to do your best. Jeez, you're simple-minded. Getting all riled up from a half-assed speech like that. I don't know. I thought it was a pretty good speech, Toko. But still, I... The way Yuta died... There's no way I can just keep it secret from that idiot swimmer. What's rough about it is that there's, like, it, it would be cruel to tell her, but it would probably be crueler not to tell her. Because at least, even as, as tragic as it is, it will give Hina some closure to, um, to not have to wonder any longer, as tragic as it is. Well, either way, first Master and I need to get out of this town. Yeah, of course you do have your priorities straight, though, Toko. So, where's the subway? We didn't see it on the way over here. It is interesting how Toko is just omitting so much information about, Hey, I knew this guy's sister. I know your brother. I, I'm not sure exactly. We'll just have to find it ourselves. And there's obviously a reason for that, but I've not really, don't really know what it is yet. Well, Toko, I'm starting to think that if we work together, we can find it for sure. Wow, you really changed your tune fast, Kamaru. Stop wasting your breath on sentimental crap and let's get moving already. Hey, the sentimental crap's okay if it works. But I, I still, I, I kind of agree with Toko's sentiment again, because Toko's based in this game. What the fuck? Toko, let's get out of here together, okay? Aww. Don't just look away and say nothing. It, that was it cute. It might be better if we go back to where we came out of that hotel before. Sure. We went straight for the bridge last time. There should be a path going the opposite way. Okay. Then let's go over there. Sure, why not? Oh, let me just double check. Oh my god, there actually was something there. What the fuck? That's just asshole-ish. Dude, this game is trolling. I actually... Dude, the, the, the way I... further. 
It's better if we don't get too close. Yeah, I get that, but I act unironically am gonna have to like play the game like this. This is actually funny. If this is how I wanna play games anyways, and like but I actually like this game's incentivizing me to play like this. I should be able to escape from the bridge. Ugh! Seriously, this stuff makes no sense. Monokumas? To think that I was finally released from imprisonment just to end up like this. Are these kids terrorists or something? Yeah, pretty much. Paradise? None of it makes any sense at all. I gotta get out of this town. First, I'll head to the bridge. If it were my sister, I'm sure she would just dive headfirst in the ocean and swim right across. But I'm not as strong a swimmer. Anyway, to the bridge. I gotta make it across that bridge if I want to see my friends and family again. Rough. God, this music's good. So silly, but it's good. Yeah, we're vibing. Oh, I see a Monokuma. And I see a bomber Monokuma, too. Oh, Jesus. I, like, totally wasn't paying attention. And they're, they're throwing bombs from that distance. Damn. I thought we were out of range. What the fuck just happened? I just, like... Wow, that was stupid. Dude, I love how I'm dying in, like, the dumbest ways. It might be better if we it's go back entirely to came carelessness. Out of like before. it's not even me like we dying for the bridge last because time. it like there should matters. Be a path going the opposite way. Actually, kind of funny. Over there. Whoa! Oh, there actually was one over here. That's actually wild. That actually explains a lot. <laughs> Damn, that was actually kind of, uh, terrifying. What the fuck? That'll do it. Damn, I actually might have got cooked because I just totally just missed that guy. Damn, okay. Fair enough. For once, that was just me actually sucking at, uh, video games, I think. I make jokes about at- Oh my god. Hello. I'm trying to conserve bullets, but... Which is why I'm really, like, focused on the eyes. Uh, I guess I could save, but I don't really see the need to. I can- So can we go in? No, this isn't the hotel. Hotel further down this way? I don't even think we went over here, actually. Yeah, this is a new area. And there was also a kid with like a stand, like a fucking lemonade stand looking ass. What's with this kid? Oh, are we gonna be able to buy skills? Use our mono coins? Looks like a shop. Yeah, this gotta be what this is. Welcome. Oh wow, he actually talks. It's time for a tutorial. Here, you use monocoins to purchase bling bullets and boost for your scissors. First off, let me explain purchasing bling bullets. Here, you can purchase bling bullets. Okay. Think of bling bullets as special add-on effects that attach to truth bullets. Interesting. If you're overwhelmed by all the choices, the items with crown marks are a good buy. New bling bullets arrive occasionally, so be sure to check in periodically, sure. Bling bullets can be attached to the truth bullet section in the menu with the options button. Okay. After se selecting a truth bullet, choose the bling bullet you want to attach. Each truth bullet can take two bling bullets. I've heard that depending on the combination, you can activate a super special effect. Try out various combinations to make the ultimate blinged up truth bullet. No, that's out of the way. Let's talk about boosting the scissors next. Here you can increase the effectiveness of the scissors Jack uses. Lucky for you, we've prepared a few different kinds of boosts for the scissors. However the wind may blow, you need not worry. Take as much time as you need to decide. Unlike bling bullet, scissor boosts do not need to be attached. When you buy a boost, it's automatically applied. Perfect for the laid back generation, sure. And that concludes this tutorial. Enjoy the shop! All right, sure. Roger. 
That was a weird sound effect. So we have 1,271 mono coins. Um, this literally doesn't say what it does. Swiftly. Okay, so it, it like increases the speed of the bullet. Sadly, it increases the effective capacity. Largely is capacity energetically. Okay, so we want energetically because capacity 15. That's okay. pretty good. Um, definitely does a little of everything. Yeah, let's do swiftly as well. Um, they recommend largely. It actually doesn't seem as good, but I guess capacity. I do think I want capacity. I don't think I want any of these other ones right now. Let's look at this. Combo attacks, attack speed. Attack speed seems good. And yeah, okay, so the upgrades get more expensive the further in the uh, tree you go. Makes sense. Battery efficiency seems really fucking good. That costs 500, and that costs 500 for a reason. And let's just save our other 331 right now. That seems like a good, uh, good combo. I know I haven't really used Jack at all, but I will. Oh, shit. Is this a... Is... It is a new Monokuma! Also, the Japanese voice. What is it? Summon other... Oh, my God, it actually does. It summons other Monokumas. Okay. Interesting. All right, we get a tutorial. If a Siren Monokuma finds you, they will summon the Monokumas in the area. Be very careful not to get caught. It would be absolutely terrible. Just awful. Oh, well, I guess it's a bit late for this warning. My bad. Wow. Plain. Easy cash money. But I guess that's good to know for future use is really the point here. I'll take the... Uh, oh, that was a... Uh, that was a battery, I guess. Oh, okay. There's our sparkly. And there's nothing else. All right, let's take our sparkly. The most influential corporations in the world. Okay, so this is going to be another simp, uh, Toa group simping. Alexander Magazine, a publication which boasts the highest circulation in the world, okay, recently published their 100 most influential corporations in the world list. While groups from across the globe made the list, the unanimous first place went to Toa Group. This article, the article praised Toa Group's quick response to the tragedy and their unwavering support efforts. Far and away, the greatest gift Toa Group had given to the world was the invention of the air purifier that allowed massive quantities of atmosphere to be breathable again. Potentially millions of lives have been saved with this invention. Many Toa Group supporters have a nearly religious devotion to the company thanks to their efforts against the incident. Okay, so, so Toa almost has like a cult-like following. That's concerning. We're getting all this like lore about Toa Group, which does make me wonder what their role in the story is gonna be, because clearly th this, they're important. Whoa, another one. Looks like this Monokuma kid has a gift for us. Okay. Ooh, new bullet! Dance! Okay. It appears you have tamed Dance. Dance is another kind of truth bullet. Enemies hit with it can't move or attack. Okay. And they just start dancing? In other words, they're weak as a baby. That's such a, like, Danganronpa Monokuma thing to do. It's a powerful truth bullet that's even more effective against siren monokumas. Nearby monokumas will be drawn to the siren hit by dance. Now throw a fast moving electric car in that party. Oh. Well, I'll let you figure out what happens after that. Also, that could be really good if there's a bomber monokuma because you could just blow them all up. Okay, I'm assuming that's what's about to happen. <laughs> Damn. Those kids are our enemies, right? Why are they helping us? Somebody wants us to do well. I'm wondering if that's Nagito based on what we saw earlier. The Remnants of Despair are up to something weird. I just don't know if it's Nagito or the whole group. Alright, let's go, I guess. Monokuman time. Alright, let's get it. 
looks like that ammo you just picked up and that electric car yep. over there could yep. be useful. Yep, yeah, they make it very obvious. Yeah, especially when they even say you can't use brake, obviously. Yeah, this one's super obvious, and they even basically told us beforehand when they gave us dance that obviously we're gonna make the Siren Monokuma dance and then hit the car with move. Oh. Run for it! Alright! Wow, that, that actually failed because one of the Monokumas just didn't... Damn, I actually failed that shit. That's actually kind of sad. I just hit that shit. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really... Like, honestly, if this was a different type of game, I think I'd be more invested in, like, doing the gameplay really well. Mm. But I'm not gonna lie, I don't really care that much about the gameplay. Like, it's perfectly fine, it's perfectly adequate, but I'm, like, so concentrating on the story and, like, the actual dialogue and stuff. That, like, I'm not gonna say I space out, but I'm not, like, 100% there, I feel mm. like, when I'm playing the game. Um... Are you all... Are you all right? Uh, uh, kid, are you a kid? Oh. No, I'm not. We're being attacked by the children, too. I'm on your side. I see. I'm sorry. I have to always have my guard up, you know, or else I'll end up dead. I know it's pathetic, so right, being by running and hiding like a coward. Huh? You ran all the way here by yourself? No. At first, it was my whole family with me, but now I'm the only one. Damn. My parents and my wife all ended up prey to those Monokumas. Um, if you want, do you want to come with us? I'm sure it will be better than running alone. Tempt an offer, but I'm sorry. I can't. My right leg's torn up from a Monokuma. I can't run with just one leg. Then I'll lend you my shoulder. No. It's fine. I already let my family down. I can't bring harm to two strangers. But what's going on? He said it's fine. We're barely moving fast enough as it is. We can't protect an adult with a bad leg, too. He has a better chance of surviving if he hides somewhere by himself. Honestly, true. Yes. Yeah, she's right. Thanks for your concern, but... She's absolutely right. Correct. Well, if that's the case, okay. Oh my god, you can tell he's shaking, too. <sighs> huh? What's this out of nowhere? I let my family die right in front of my eyes, and now I'm making two young girls pity me. I'm pathetic. Just so pathetic. Yeah, that is kind of rough, buddy. Yeah, the real my real focus is on not missing any shit. There's save point. Yeah, there's a sparkly. Tornado Sentai Spin Ranger. Oh my god. It's a tokusatsu thing. Dawn, container, salable, metal, mellow, food. <laughs> what are these names? These five friends run a small, unassuming soup shop. However, the chosen warriors cannot stay soup salesmen forever. With the mighty storm power, they transform into Tornado Sentai Spin Rangers and battle tirelessly day and night against the evil phantoms. This is the eye of the Tornado Entertainment. Spin the world with Spin Ranger. Oh my god. And the art too. Volume 1. Phantom Kerberos appears. What's going on? Why are all the books we find in this town trashy? Did everyone with good taste die off or something? Um... I'm sure the person who dropped this was just a kid. All boys have a superhero phase after all. 
Don't mess with me. Uh, all boys, don't you dare. My noble master, Byakuya, would never befoul himself with this childish crap. To be honest, Toko's probably right, but then again, I could also see Byakuya just reading everything, even stuff like that, because he just wants to be a completionist that knows everything. Hmm? Don't you think Byakuya is kind of like a superhero in a way? Oh no, you're gonna make her jealous. You, you, you don't sip for Byakuya. That's a bad path to go with Toko around. Huh? What do you mean? Like, when he rescued me, his timing was so perfect, just like a hero's. Oh no. Yep. Master doesn't think of you as a damsel in distress at all. You're no Lois Lane, woman. Oh my god. I mean... I suppose not, but... Random Superman reference is cool, I guess. I, I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> well, I can never be too careful. You never know who's a home wrecker until it's too late. Jesus Christ, Toko. But... I know what you mean about the perfect timing. Lots of strange coincidences lately. Almost like someone is masterminding this from the, from the shadows, just like every Danganronpa game. Amonokuma's ambushed this town exactly when Future Foundation arrived to save you. It's too convenient to be coincidence. Um... Yakia said the reason they came here was because they received an anonymous rescue plea. Yeah, obviously the work of either the Remnants or the Warriors. Do you think the children did it? You're right. Wouldn't surprise me. Aww. Then the children were targeting Future Foundation from the beginning? Why? Hm. How would I know? But it does seem to fit. Still, I can't imagine what kind of grudge they could have against Future Foundation. Only thing I know for sure is that we can't underestimate these brats or we'll end up dead. Aww. I hope there aren't any more unpleasant surprises. Oh, trust me, girl, it's a dog and romp game. The twists will be a plenty. Oh, is that actually our, like, subway? Yeah, because this is where we came from. Yep. Yeah, I think this is actually our subway here. We got the metro for... Mino Debashi Station. Here we go. The shutters close. Oh, never mind. I don't see how it's we don't locked. find it either. Yeah. We can't get through it like this. Guess we gotta find another way in. Jeez, keep your voice down. If the shutter is closed, that means someone closed it. At some point, yes. If that's the case. We should look around here for some kind of clue. Oh, okay, sure, why not? A clue? Oh, okay. Sure, is this just straight up gonna be a key? He looks like a station attendant. Was he killed by those Monokumas too? Probably. The Monokumas might have done the act, but it's the kids making them kill. It's sickening. Sure. Huh? It looks like he's holding something. It's literally just going to be a key. It's going to be that easy. That seemed kind of pointless, but sure. Could this key be... <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, did he jack the key? Running into you and not even apologizing? Who raised that oh, little okay. brat? That makes more sense. I was going to say, this is way too easy. Toko, this is bad. Yeah, he took the key. What? The key. The kid stole it. Of course he did. Huh? We gotta go after that kid. If we don't have the key, we can't get into the subway. Fair. Uh, hey! All right, here we go. Running after a kid. Wait, hold on! Give me that key! Nope. Hold it! Bye. You goddamn little... Damn, I, 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 I could... Toko, please swear for me. Oh, yep. We, yeah, it's yellow, which means we can climb it, I that guess. That brat! Where'd he run off to? Uh, 
That construction site looks suspicious. <laughs> oh shit. Hi, uh, it's funny to watch Toko just getting blown up. How far can that mono can bombers throw? That's pretty close to how far we are. Okay, that wasn't. I guess it depends on the angle. Interesting. Oh. Hey, look, it's a, it's a sparkly. What the fuck? I'm Saki the Sock, you know, showing a little skin is nice, but I'd like to be noticed too. Wait, that's the whole thing? What the hell was that? Oh, we're gonna talk about that? All right, um, sure. It's a picture book, right? <laughs> I guess one of the kids must have dropped it. With them controlling the Monokumas and killing adults, I forgot there was even a child inside. <laughs> Maybe it's just a phase we don't understand. Is this what's in right now? Yeah, shut up, Kamaru. Wait, did that like delete the the bomber Monokuma? What the fuck? Okay, sure. Um, so we can't go over there. So I guess we just go in this door because it's literally telling us to go in this door. Maybe he's hiding somewhere around here. Are we about to get another Monokuma already? Hey, come on out! I know you're in here. I don't know why else we'd be doing this pseudo cutscene. <laughs> Hi. Damn, Toko got jump scared. What the fuck? Kid fell down too. That brat acting all high and mighty just because he knows we won't hurt him. Let's go around back to get that kid. I'm not entirely convinced Toko isn't gonna hurt him. Yeah, you're right. Jesus Christ, calm down, Toko. You're fine. All right, so we just go through this door then. Oh, and it's another game. Okay, I it's swear to God. Machine again. I'm fucking winning this one. What the fuck? I'm actually gonna pay full, complete attention here. I don't know what happened if we last get it time. Right, we might be able to take them all out at once. Well, it's Siren and then Bomber. That, obviously. So we have to dance. Dance! Yep. I was worried that one Monokuma was gonna go too far. I was about to actually lose my mind. I gotta get these coins, especially the one that's silver. That's That means more coins, yep. Uh, we're supposed to go that way. Where are you going? Aww. That rat should be somewhere over there. But I wanna see what's You're in the right. door. We have to get the key back first. I guess that's where we go after we get the brat. Oh, sparkly. Challenge. I will be waiting at the hospital. What the fuck? The hospital? Isn't that the first place we were? We have to go all the way back? Yeah, who's the rat in the maze now, Kamaru? <laughs> this little brat. Does he think we're his playmates or something? I guess that door was how he got out. Ugh, this is so frustrating that, that my eyesight is getting better. What the fuck? Hmm. Frustration leads to improved vision? Apparently in Toko's case it does. Of course not. Don't take everything I say so literally. Come on, let's just go. It's fun to take things you say literally though, Toko. I really do need to start using Jack. Okay, now we go through this door? Yeah, that makes sense. I guess there's a small chance I missed something there, but... Oh! That's actually the way we go. I didn't even realize there was nowhere else to go there. What the fuck is that? Why does that look like a UFO? The object floating above uh, you as if it's always been there is called a guiding UFO. What the fuck? Oh, it tells us where to go. Okay. Asking for directions is embarrassing, but getting lost is more embarrassing, so use it. I mean, sure, why not, I guess. 
Is that the Bratz radio controller? What function could this serve? I think we're seeing a real life UFO. Why does that, mm. why does that look like, hmm. why does that look like our boy whose name is rather similar to our main character in this game? No, seriously, why does that look, why does that look like our boy? Hmm. It looks like the little mini Robomaru. What the fuck? It even looks like it has the claw. I, I, I'm so confused. Sure, why not? Is that is that imply Let's that? Let's get to the hospital so we can teach that brat a lesson. Does that imply that he's involved? I guess it is. I guess it could be remnants. That might actually be a hint. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're just heading back from whence we came. That that is crazy wild. <laughs> Figured I'd get a little use out of her. Try to use her at some point. Um Again, I'm just double, triple checking, making sure we didn't miss anything, but we've been in these areas before. Wouldn't really make sense for new things to drop. Okay, there's nothing over here. What it actually is our path forward? Can we actually go in this way? Yeah, we can, okay. Back in the hospital? Is this the hospital? Wow, they're giving us tons of uh, mm. guide aid. Sure. But yeah, I got this is where we snuck around. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, but there is a sparkly. See? See, they're trying to bait us and make us miss the sparkly. Wait, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, another Saki. Saki the sock here. Rainy days are melancholy. For some reason it gets smelly. What the actual fuck is up with these Saki the sock things? Okay. Yeah, we're going in reverse, so there's no game to play. It's actually kind of weird to go back through areas we've been through. There he there is! You, are. you won't get away this time! Well, though, this is the challenge now. I'm sure it's more than just... I'm sure it's going to turn into Toko, a riddle. The kid went that way! Like this way, I, I assume? We've been here before, but I really don't want to miss anything. I'm just going to assume... This way. And why is there so many mono mono machines in here? Fuck. Get ammo and health. And a sparkly. God damn it. I really need to go through all these rooms, don't I? Children's Paradise Commandments Nup 1. Sleep lot, eat lots, play lots. Also number one. Anything that makes you look like a demon like drinking and smoking is illegal. One. Any items with a picture of a demon on them are illegal. Anyone who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment. Gargle coffee for 20 hours straight. Yikes. Also love how it's a drawing of the five of them. Drinking and smoking is illegal, huh? Oh shit, Yuta's here. Dislike cigarettes, huh? Is anyone else? No, okay, nobody else directly says anything about alcohol, but dislike cigarettes. Interesting. Yuta, huh? D born on September 4th. 
Sweet bean paste and track and field. Dislikes math and boredom. Damn, actually has something in common with uh, Masaru over there. Boy who Komaru and Toko met at the bridge. Attempted to swim across the gap, but was caught in an explosion and lost to the sea. Damn, his profile didn't show up until after he died. That's kind of metal. Alright, we actually... Fuck, now we have to actually have to go back because... Yeah, because I have to check the other room. I believe, yeah, we came from the monitoring room, but there's these other rooms that I have to check now because... They're hiding the, the sauce from us. Even though I'm sure I've been in these rooms before, but I actually found something in that other room. And this is the whole, it goes the other way. Yeah, it's actually wild that there's all this stuff here. Yeah, we've been in these rooms before. This is heading back up towards where we started the, uh... Bro, I'm unironically about to get lost up in here. We're gonna go back to the roof. Holy shit! What the fuck? Yeah, we're going Genocide Jack. What the fuck? Why were there 12 million bombers up here? What the actual fuck was that? That was hilarious, but also what the literal fuck? Why was there a... Is that the game telling you fuck off? Don't be over... Oh my god, there was a sparkly. Demon name. Gon Takaru's. Takemichi Yukimaru. A shrimpy demon with a head as hard as metal. In the demon world, it was an elite in the crazy diamonds. Okay, so we have someone who is not related to Mondo, but is close to Mondo. Even though it doesn't look like it likes girl demons, it has a fan club. You should plan a surprise attack when its special school uniform is off. Crush it with your very own fist, Jesus. Even though it doesn't look like it likes girl demons, is that supposed to say it looks gay? Like what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, I, I could tell. A guy like that would def- That is a design that screams, I have a fan club. Damn. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad I came up here. Holy shit. That's like such a random one to get. But the thing is about this game is like your, your directions are very like manipulated and controlled by the game. So like these type of rooms, you just don't get, I feel like many opportunities to go here. So the fact that we have an opportunity to go back to the hospital screams like sauce. And sure enough, there was a bunch of sauce that I wasn't expecting. I wonder how many people that play this game get that, uh, get that, uh, go to the roof and actually get that, uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's the only your only opportunity to go to the roof. All right, so I think we're good to go back downstairs now. Yeah, that's that gambit. Is there anything else over here? Okay, no sparklies. Okay, so there's nothing else over here, which means it's safe to do this. So then we travel over here, and I'm sure we checked this room already. It was worth a double check, but yeah, we did. And then, monitoring room. Just making sure again. Holy shit. Dinosaurs and cats and Speaking of, like, tokusatsu-looking ass. Interesting. Oh, there's even more over here. There's, like, a crab thing. I don't even know what to make of this. Also, they were playing tic-tac-toe. Interesting. A lot of interesting drawings there. Okay, so... Yeah, we did everything over there. 
I'm 95% sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I literally keep going in this room. All right, we're good. We're co totally good over there. We did this room too. That's fine. Which means we're ready to keep going. I finally find the kid after all that. No use running. Give it up already. No sparklies. It's just this, the operating room covered in blood. Oh, we got a semi cutscene. What the fuck? Or what the fuck? This room's creepy. Yeah. Like something might pop out any second. Ooh, well, yeah, this game out? does have Don't weird say jump something scares. Creepy so. like what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that is actually horrifying. <laughs> Junk Monokuma. And you just had to say something, didn't you? The door's locked shut. How the powerful a junk Monokuma. Must have done it. Oh god, I think this is a, another time for genocide. What yeah. is this aberrant Monokuma? <laughs> Oh yeah, this guy is... Wow, this guy's really strong. Visit the website for more info. Alright! Okay. That fucking happened. Uh, look, it's open now. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Let's chase after that brat. I've got a whole lifetime's worth of trauma to give him. Hell yeah. Where's my coin Ugh, though? I want my. That was gross. Yeah, I want my I'm silver have coin. Nightmares. Yeah, that was actually kind of horrifying. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Yeah, it looks like there's no sparkly things in this room. So back to the chase with the kid we go. This fucking kid. There he is! Over there! Off he goes. Yeah, we've been through all these spots, right? Yeah. Okay, he's going up towards the roof. We've that already kid went up to the second floor. We already cooked. Oh, just the second floor. Okay. I I can see that. Yeah, that was kind of obvious to say. It was right in front of both of us. Jeez, how far is this brat gonna run? What's good about it is we've already checked all these spots out, so we're kind of set. Although, for some reason... Sure. Oh, and there's a... That's horrifying. That's... Oh wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. Press the wrong button there. Monokuma crushed my leg. Oh god. I don't think I can take another step. I know I can't take another step. I can't walk. Monokuma destroyed my leg and I can't move. They're still around here looking for me. I'm probably going to die. They're going to find and kill me. But I can't keep thinking about that kind of thing. I have to think happy thoughts now. Okay, Sayori. If I make it home alive, I want to go to the beach with my family. I want to see the sparkling water again. I want to sit on the sand with my wife and watch our beautiful daughter play. And if she trips and falls and get a scrape, I want to say, there, there. It's okay, sweetie. No, I can't. I can't think about the future. I'm just going to die in a few minutes. I don't want to die, but I know I will. This is the worst feeling I've ever felt. Jesus Christ, that's fucked up. Also, sick room, which means you're going to be hiding some shit from me in this room. Oh, God. Oh, mono mono machine. Cash money would take those. Thank you for the dance ammos, actually. Yep, there's the sparkly thing. Just gonna make sure there's nothing else hiding in here. We can't even get to that. Awakened girl power? I'm sorry, I have to see what that is. Healing item effect plus one. Ooh. I kind of like that. Also, apparently we have enough skill points to equip all of these at the same time. Might as well equip them if Where we have- Where are these Monokumas coming from? That was literally- That was literally a Monokuma that only appeared when you got your, um, your new skill. That's actually wild. 
Um. Yeah, we're ready. This kid is taunting us. Oh, he's definitely not gonna get away with this. Damn. Oh, nice. We got a double charge. Sick. Take our heart. Double checking, making sure there's no sparkly there. Ooh, what room? Well, let's try the side room first. Uh, okay. Nice TV. Pure Family Companion by Takehiko Kawakubo. All households are the same, right? Dad's cheating with my classmate. Mom's beating up grandpa and grandma. My brother's chased around town by delinquents and day and night. I'm making this bomb to blow up the school? Oh my god. This is a based way to start like a back cover of a book. But this is normal for us. This is what a normal family looks like. I do have some complaints and worries, but any household would be the same, right? Jesus Christ. This is an interesting start. One day, a stained, stained boy claiming to be a representative for the world showed up at her house unexpectedly and said, I'm going to reform you and your family. It's none of your business. Will I be able to protect my family from being forced into normalcy? That, that honestly does sound like an interesting concept for like a manga or an anime. More so than a book. I don't know if that sounds like a straight up book, but it's certainly something. Oh, we're going to talk so about it. Vulgar. This novel sickens me. I bet it does, Toko. As does basically every novel we see. <laughs> does it look like it's going to have a happy ending? Let me guess. The main character wins in the end and they stand up and say something stupid like... We may be crazy, but at least we're happy. Yeah, that sounds pretty plausible. Well... Just because I can predict the ending doesn't automatically make it suck, I guess. Damn, even that, even saying that is kind of... Shows a lot of Toko's growth. But it doesn't really matter. Anything other than the purest literature is shit anyways. <laughs> That's rather cut and dry. Kind of a refreshing point of view, actually. Which reminds me... Speaking of predictions, I'm guessing your family was normal to a T, right? That is the gimmick of the Nyagis. No. Well, actually, we weren't, we weren't really that normal at all. We're a family of four, my parents, my brother, and me, but... <laughs> what? Were you a family of cannibals or something? What the fuck, Toko? Why are you drooling at the thought of that? Stop it! D don't say something scary! Um... No, I mean, for example, my mo mom always watches the same variety show at lunchtime. Dad never shaves on weekends if he doesn't have plans. And my brother goes to an amazing school. Went. Well, I guess all of those are past tense, but sure. When we're eating dinner and it's just the four of us, we basically just watch TV and small talk. You literally sound like the most generic family of all time. What the fuck are you on about, Komaru? Nothing you said makes me think you're anything but completely and obviously normal, exactly. But if that's normal, isn't it kinda not normal because it's too normal? No, you're just trying too hard. Hm. I'm really more interested in the relationship between you and your brother. Do you guys share a bed or bathe together like in those trashy light novels? What the fuck, Toko? That would be based, but no. We're siblings! We never do that! We actually don't get along well at all! Hmm. The only time we even talk is when we're snacking together or talking about manga we like. You guys get along better than most couples, I know. <laughs> really? I figured other siblings would be much closer than we are. Any closer and it'd be illegal. What the fuck, Toka? Why are you pushing this narrative so hard? You are a silly's head. What the fuck? But now that you mention my family, I'm starting to get worried. I hope Mom, Dad, and Makoto are all safe. And of course, Toko is going to mention nothing of the fact that she knows Makoto. Alright, let's go.
Oh, here's our puzzle. I knew there was going to be a puzzle eventually. <laughs> the key is inside the sturdy safe. It won't open if you force it, so don't bother trying. If you want to open the safe, you got to solve my best riddle. The reason you can't see the answer is because you aren't thinking like a detective, kid. Like I said, you brat. We're not here to p play around with you. So the safe's connected to the computer, so I assume it's another thing where you have to type in, like, a... Uh, I assume another, like, four-digit combination. A child challenging us to a battle of wits. Like the hell. <laughs> he really doesn't think much of us, does he? Huh? Toko, we can't lose against him. Sure. Y you're just gonna go along with what he wants? But first things first. Oh, a new truth bullet that we have to use for. Okay, another tutorial for you. Looks like you picked up detect. Detect is a type of truth bullet that reveals things invisible to the naked eye, but not stuff like love or inner demons. <laughs> That's not what it's for, sure. Anyway, check out the graffiti art the kids made with the special type of paint. Things hither. Too unseen can be viewed with your own eyes using detect. Now, before you get all angry and call me a liar, shine detect onto that portrait. Now, this is what real graffiti art is about. By the way, paint cans are seen in places where the kids have made graffiti. Oh, okay. So we have to be on the lookout for paint cans. Where there is shadow, there is light. Where there are paint cans, there is graffiti. Sure, why not? And the paint cans are near. Oh, that's cool. So the second I equip the bullet, it's just... I don't need to shoot anything. It's just... Thanks, Mom and Dad, from Toshiki and Aya. Uh, wedding anniversary. Yoshiki and Aya. Thank you, Michiko, from Aya. Thanks, Mom and Dad from Toshiki and Aya. Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's like... Drawing safe to the safe. Yep. So it's... Mustache. Uh, like wig, beard, glasses. So, it's actually eyebrows, but eyebrows, beard second, no, wig second. So, I'm assuming this means two, four, one, three. That's got to be what that means. Two, four, one, three. Easy money? Yeah, cash me out, baby. How about that? We won, we won. God damn it. Er, Fucking Komaru and your obsession with shitting on kids. You're rather excited for beating a little kid. Exactly. <laughs> the poor kid, so sad. What the fuck? We finally got our key. Let's go. Hell yeah. And with this, we can get into the subway. We don't really know that. It could just be the key to some bicycle lock or something. Then what do I do? I don't even know how to ride a bike. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. Sure, I, I understand. It's don't fine. Worry. Let's just hurry up and try it. I've had enough of this hospital already. I know it's going to be a short episode, but I, I, I don't know. It's hard to gauge how far there's left of chapter one. I'm kind of thinking when we get to the tunnel, I'm probably going to cut off the episode, which I think will make this a rather short one. And then I'm thinking I'm going to try to finish chapter one in the next video. Yeah, you're right. But I don't know how long chapter one is. So I'm, I'm assuming like that might make the next video a long one, which actually would work out because this one's going to probably be a short one. All we got to do now is go back to the subway. Yep. Looks like you're finally starting to get a little positive. Mm hmm. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now is. Uh... Oh, tutorial time. Well, I'm going to introduce another way to use detect. 
If you find this mysterious sparkle, try using detect continuously on it. Then you get to see your favorite little kids. There are five sparkles hidden in each chapter. Oh, the Warriors of Hope? It would be super fun to try and collect them all, right? All the cool kids are doing it. Oh, okay. Interesting. So now I have to look for... Yeah, there he is. Interesting. What was that? A... Probably something we shouldn't think about. Yeah, you don't want to question it. God damn it. So now I have to be on the lookout for these. Every chapter, all five of them. I have to look out for a bunch of sparkles. Oh my god. What the fuck? Cash money. Well, thanks to them. Looks like we can go across another way. Let's try going this way. It looks like a shortcut. Oh, it's Dan Samba. Oh, that door is the shortcut. Is it going to force us to go that way? Oh, yeah, it does by blocking us with the kids. That's actually clever. Okay. Well, I mean, that's actually good because that means that I am not going to miss any, um, any, um, oh, we're going to have another challenge. Not challenge, but, uh, there's another Monoku arcade Man, machine. Yeah. Must be super popular in this one particular town for some reason. Apparently. All right, let's see what we got. There's a lot of them on the other side of the car. So we have to hit the car with move, then we dance, then we kill the... Yeah, that makes sense. So we want to equip move first. Wait, where's the siren Monokuma? Did I just kill the Siren Monokuma like a dumbass? Aw, oh, fuck, they saw us. Wait, are they coming or not? Wow, I actually suck at these. What the fuck? Oh, I see another sparkle up ahead, too. I'm assuming they're gonna make this the chapter one sparkles really easy. Oh, here's a sparkle, too. Memoirs of Masaru Daimon. Whoa, my heart is pounding. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Is the paradise ready yet? A world without a single demon? I can say weenie and poop all I want. And no one's gonna tell me I'm gonna spoil my appetite by eating candy for dinner. Ha ha ha! For the sake of making the bestest possible paradise, I have to be the bestest leader. I'll lead everyone to victory. Beware of being the underdog, huh? Interesting. Very immature, but that lines up. Oh. Who are we going to detect this time? All right, Jotaro. Oh, cutscene. We've been here before. Yeah, yeah we have. we're almost at the subway entrance. Oh, we can go up here, but more importantly, the sparkles over here. Yep, there's our, there's our fighter. Uh, so I guess we just go up then. But yeah, there's no other way to go, right? Yeah, this is the previous area. It made us load it. Damn, and I had to load and then I have to load again. Yeah. Didn't want that, but it's okay. Alright. Let's go up here. Oh. Oh, that's actually... Wait. What the fuck? Oh. 
Yeah, you are hiding back up there again. Damn, I actually sniped his ass. That was beautiful. Yep, there's the here's the fourth attack. So this is gonna be uh, even, yep, Nagisa, of course, Monica's last fucking devil lord herself. Um, we can't go down there. Okay. Interesting that we're getting all of these so quickly too. Given that we just introduced the mechanic and they said there was one one of each for every chapter. That makes me wonder if we're almost done with the chapter. Sparkly, sparkly, no sparkly, okay. Okay, there's a there's a lot of stuff here that's scaring me. I'm wondering. Let's also go to we might as well go to the skill shop for actually let's talk to let's talk to the girl over here first this is impossible it's not possible impossible 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 a kid actually using a monster like that what does that mean a monster like that shouldn't exist a monster like that it's impossible um um, you two, you're not children, right? Correct. No, we're not. We're also being hunted by the children. I see. Even though you guys are still so young, huh? Looks like we're all out of luck. Um, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but what do you mean when you said monster? I'm sorry! I just say it out loud is I can't. What the fuck? If you can't say it, that's fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! I, I said it's just fine. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't kill me, don't kill me! Damn, she's broken. What's going on? Jeez, what could break an adult down like this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! Damn, that's not good. Okay, monster. Are we about to boss battle? Oh, I almost missed that. Holy shit, dude! This is the fifth one. This is gonna be. This is gonna be the demon lord herself. Yep, dude. We have all the hidden kids. If we have all the hidden kids, does that mean the chapter's about to end? Okay, I'm starting to think that when we go, the second we go down here, it's actually gonna be like the end of the chapter. Like the, and we even have we even have a chance to upgrade right before like. Damn, we could just get all of these. Whee! I mean, I guess, why not? Sold. Like, sure. I didn't actually equip any of these either. Um, I like battery efficiency a lot. Uh, I didn't actually use any of the Lust Gauge. Um, I think I actually need to check what, how to, what the Lust Gauge um, combinations are. Uh, yeah, combo attacks seem okay. like a good one, actually. Let's Forward. double, let's double that up. Um, okay, so we might as well equip the bling bullets because I didn't do that right away. Okay, so how does this work? So we can't equip it to move, but we can equip them to dance, dance and break. I would assume break is good. Um... I think we want... Hmm. I want to make their effectiveness better. Yeah, I think sadly is probably, and we could, oh, we could double equip too. Um...
Um, that didn't give us any effectiveness, though. We probably want to up the effectiveness, right? Yeah, we probably want to up the effectiveness as much as possible. Whereas with dance... I don't think we need, like, a ton of bullets for dance, but, like, I guess why not? Like, let's try adorably and... I don't... Do we need, like... I guess that's fine. I don't know, like, I, that's the thing. We have more than we need right now, so it's probably not important. Anyways, let's go down this uh, tunnel and see what happens in All the right. subway. I'm gonna try to open it with that key from earlier. I'm starting to think that we're right at the end of the chapter already, though. That's the way this is going. Honestly, I, I was planning to end the episode, so but I think we're gonna get a longer I'm episode so because... If I'm right, I think we're actually really close Yay! to the end. Yay! Toko, it worked! It's open! Yep. I I can see that. I love how Kamaru was not expecting this to Toko, work. Toko, let's open the shutter. Give me a hand! I, uh, I guess I've got no choice, right? Yeah. I mean, you do, but no reason not to help. If we go down these stairs and through the subway... We're saved, right? Oh, I want to see those drawings. I see drawings you, you down there. You can't know for sure. We might run into danger instead. Sure. Well, should we not go then? No, that doesn't mean we don't go. I don't know. What the fuck, Toko? If you say it's better not to go, then I'll trust you. But we've come all this way, and we don't have any better escape plans right now. Yeah, there's no reason not to do it, really. Ugh, so indecisive. Yeah, she wants you to make up your mind. Fine, I'll go. We're going this way. I decided. So now just do what I say. Yeah, but Toko doesn't really... She has to do it, yeah. Happy? Yes, she'll be very happy. Y yeah. Oh, maybe not as much as I thought, actually. What the fuck? Um... Okay, these drawings are kind of all over the place and not very obvious as to what they are. Um, that's a tree. That's a beetle. That's a star. Okay, they're actually starting to get better. That's a dinosaur. I'm terrified. What is about to... These are kind of cool, actually. Okay, a lot of these are repetitive. All right, here we go. Why is it so uh, dark? I told you I'm afraid of the dark. Yeah, okay. It's okay. I'm telling you, it's not that dark. It is dark. Yeah, it's, it's pretty more dark. More than dark enough. Uh, is anyone there? Turn on the light, damn it! Oh no. Um. Uh, why is there cheering? Wow, this was literally, literally just a trap. How are we in a gladiator arena? What the hell? Okay, don't question it. Oh God, the music. What is this? Oh, hey, 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 totally uh, that's Masuru Daimon talking. Yeah, I didn't, but. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting a gladiator arena. There he is! Damn, what a flip. Nice. The girl's the approved. Super duper hero of the Warriors of Hope, the Lil Ultimate PE, Masaru Daimon! Nice. Interesting. So we're gonna have like a boss battle with Masaru? you escape demons oh but we gotta have a conversation first of course that makes sense okay this is definitely the end of the chapter though okay so i'm glad i didn't cut off the video because if i did it would have probably been spliced together with the rest of the episode it was the fact that they said oh here's these five kids they're gonna be in every chapter and then we got all five of them really quickly i was like oh we're near the end of the chapter aren't we what the hell what's with this dorky little brat 
It's him. He's one of the kids who put the wristband on me. Yep, the supposed leader. One of them? Don't treat me like some chump. Oh I'm my the god, chump. Of the warriors of hope. Oh my god, that hits different after Danganronpa 2. I'm not like those adults who call themselves leaders but hide like cowards. Fair enough. I can respect that, Masaru. The best leaders are the ones that stand bravely on the front lines. Sure. The only people who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed, right? <laughs> it's funny also, the animation of the girls and boys. The girls on the left and the boys on the right. Uh, losing their minds for uh, Ramasaru is pretty hilarious. And that face that he's making right now is also pretty silly. That's a true hero, Lord Masaru Daimon. Damn, we're putting Lord on your name now? Fangirling. <laughs> that was cool, right? I looked totally cool right then, right? Sure, man. Why not? What a narcissistic little ingrate. Brats like him always get what's coming to them. Hey, did you freak out when the leader of the whole group just popped up like that? Scary, right? Yeah. Pathetic. Just like I always say, stupid little girls with no wieners are total cowards. Stupid little girls with no wieners. Oh my god, what the fuck? That's, that's kind of rude given that Kotoko and Monica are in your group. Wieners? Oh, what the fuck, Toko? Don't get obsessed about... Don't don't start thinking about wieners. We all know there's only one wiener you're interested in. It's not a hot dog. Oh my god, look at her eyes shaking. That kid, he said wiener. <laughs> wiener! He, he just, just blurted out wieners like that. You know, I didn't have Toko saying, like, wiener three times in one uh, piece of dialogue on my bingo card for this game either, but here we are. Ugh. How indecent, reprehensible, big, stupid wiener! Wow. Just call him a dick, Toko. You know you want to. Um, Toko, you don't have to keep repeating it. Yeah, kind of with Komaru on this one. Alright! Brace yourselves, demons! Even if you show your tummy like a dog and beg for mercy, you're gonna get it now. Okay. Brace for what? Uh, boss battle? Isn't that With obvious? With a little kid? This is a Achillesium. I'm gonna kill you, demons. Achillesium, huh? That's a... Sounds like something a kid would come up with. Colosseum isn't badass enough. Let's call it Achillesium. Kill? Excuse you, you dolt. You can't even say it right. There's no such thing as a Achillesium. And Toko's about to nerd his ass. What? It's pronounced Colosseum, which is an amphitheater made in ancient Rome. Acting all cool like that and not even knowing how to pronounce it. Damn! You really are a kid. Holy shit, you're provoking him now. Jesus Christ, Toko. Uh, I knew that. It was just a, a special hero joke. You are one mouthy demon. Yeah, that's honestly when he said Colosseum. I didn't I didn't think that he thought that a Colosseum was called a Colosseum. I just assumed that he was making a play on Colosseum. Um, but I guess not. What is this demon thing in the first place? That better not be about us. It's adults, obviously, Toko. It's not just us. Yep. Isn't he talking about adults in general? Yep. Huh? Yeah, because didn't they refer to, uh, wasn't it an about to be, is what they called, um, Kamaru? Yeah, that's right. You adults are demons. You are our enemies. Enemies of kids. That's why me and the Warriors of Hope are gonna hunt down every last one of you. I'm sorry, I get distracted by the fact that Monster looks like he damn near has a duck in his eyes. And then make a peaceful paradise just for children in this town. That is the goal. Oh shit, animation. Uh is that is that supposed to be like oh my god, is that supposed to be a bunch of corpses? What is that? Jesus Christ, that's pretty terrifying. What, you can't tell just by looking? Yep. These guys are the demons I've hunted down. 
directly kind of displaying that uh, Masaru, just Masaru alone has killed this many people individually. <laughs> How about it? Isn't it awesome? It's worth one trillion Brazilian points. And the way he's talking and like how it's all just a game to him. Pretty fucked up to say the least. Omaru, you can't look. Whatever you do, don't look at it. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, they've seen a lot of death and murder, but you didn't see a pile of bodies that large either. I, I told you not to look. And you can put a face to their death as well. Just because they gave birth to us and raised us, they thought they could control us all. Here comes the trauma. As hero, I hunted them down and let everyone go free. I'm assuming your trauma involves someone who smoked uh, based on your likes and your dislikes. Um, beyond that, I don't really know. That could That could go a couple different ways, to be honest. <laughs> now, now, don't praise me too much. I just did what any good leader would do. Really, the only one that's like super obvious is uh, Kotoko. Kotoko is gonna be fucked. Um, Monica's interesting too because she's she's uh, she can't walk. Presumably, it's possible she's faking that. But um, assuming that her trauma has to do with her inability to walk, I'm curious how that's going to go down. Um, Jotaro wears a mask, so I'm assuming Jotaro was, like, scarred or something by, like, his parents or some adults. Um, and, like, because of that, he was, uh, like, hates himself and all that stuff, and it, it, it's all, it's a looks thing. That really l brings it down to what Nagisa, like, Nagisa, I don't know. Nagisa hasn't given me... It's hard for me to gauge what Nagisa's trauma is going to be. Because I'm sure Nagisa is fucked up too. Uh, just to be a part of this group. Especially when Nagisa is clearly very intelligent. How could you do this? You guys... You all realize that one day you will all be adults too, right? Not necessarily. Hypothetically, they could kill each other before then. I won't become an adult! I made a promise with the Warriors of Hope. I made a promise with Monica. Specifying Monica. If I'm gonna turn into a dirty, yep, mean, I had a ugly, feeling. smelly demon, I'd rather die as a kid. And I'm assuming that's an oath that all of the Warriors of Hope have taken. You see? You can hear it, right? Everyone loves me. They, they appreciate me. Oh god, there's the insecurities. Because I'm their hero. Oh, he's... Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. If I hunt down every single demon, then nobody has to be afraid anymore. Aww. They, they won't have to be afraid of the violence and the pain. Yikes. W won't have to... Afraid. Yep, here comes the trauma dump. <laughs> Oh boy, these poor kids, man. It, what's crazy is, obviously, we're about to get into the specific. He did say violence and pain. And, I, I you know, uh, he does have bandages. I, I, I do wonder if he's been beaten. Um, which is like, that's an interesting topic in and of itself. Because people have different opinions on that. But I, I'm kind of meaning it not even in the concept of like, keeping your kid in line or punishing them. But like just beaten for the sake of being beaten and and beyond what should any parent should even arguably do um i i won't be afraid i'm not scared at all jesus christ almighty holy shit i don't have to be scared of the the dark and the Pain and the alcohol smell! Not anymore! Alright, so one or both of his parents were nasty drunks. Okay, so the alcohol thing was also Masaru, most likely then. Not just the cigarettes. The smoking. Not anymore. Not anymore. No matter how much you beat me, yep. I won't be afraid anymore. You hear me? Jesus Christ! 
And it's such a, like, interesting concept, right? Because obviously these kids have been fucked up by their parents or by adults or whatever. And in the process of being tortured and broken uh, by whether their parents or society as a whole, they became broken and their solution was to eliminate adults. And obviously the stuff they're doing is reprehensible. It's unforgivable, but it comes from a place of fear and a place of, um, like, it's one of those things where even though they're kids, they're still responsible for their own actions, but you can't help but still sympathize for them and the stuff that they've been through. And like, what's scary is this is chapter one and we're talking about kids getting beat. Um... Obviously, I like I said, I'm terrified for Kotoko's, but even then, it kind of scares me for all of the others. If like, this is fucked, and this is chapter one. Not going be afraid. Damn. Oh, another cutscene. Okay. Huh? What, what is this? He's shaking. He's afraid. Yeah, that, that's weird. Damn it. Oh God! Stop. Oh stop. Jesus! Oh stop. what the fuck! Stop! 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 I said stop! I'm not scared. Oh I'm my scared. God! I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything. That's. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Jesus. A hero isn't afraid of anything. That's not he what a hero is. Dying of killing. Jesus. Nothing. Oh, Just you poor stop. kid. What the fuck? Oh my god, he's bruising! Oh my god! Let me guess, his arm isn't shaking because he can't even feel it. He's numb. Numb to the pain. And now he villain laughs. What the fuck? Oh my god! It, it, finally, listen to me. Yo. Wow, this is, like I said, like, I was expecting it to be bad. I just feel like this is more extreme than I was expecting for chapter one. Like, I feel like we were gonna escalate. Like, again, especially with, like I said, it seems like Kotoko's is most likely going to be about, like, sexual situations and i'll just leave it at that and like that one's obviously gonna be horrific um but jesus christ like this is this one i didn't know fully what to expect with masaru this is worse than i was expecting for masaru to be honest <laughs> Not a bad villain laugh either. Stop it already, please. Please stop. Yeah, I don't think he's stopping, girl. We're not demons. We won't do anything to you guys. Please. Th these kids are completely insane. Talking to them isn't going to accomplish anything. Unfortunately, I kind of agree with Toko. As, as much as it would be nice to save them, I'm not... I don't really know. I don't really know if that's necessarily an option in this situation. They don't even respect life and death anymore. They're beyond sanity entirely. Yeah. You guys, you, you look like you have lanky bodies. Maybe you aren't true demons yet. Toko certainly is, although I guess it depends on how you define a demon. But you're almost demons. You're going to be just like the demons, I can tell. Damn. And that's why I have to defeat you now, before you turn into one. Jesus Christ, the fact that, like, you have the, the art, too, is, like, his left arm is all fucked up and bruised is wild. I mean, I mean, the game is rated M for mature, but still, Jesus. This is kind of funny. This cutscene is like unironically like a little blurry. Ah, uh, 
the drill that pierces the heavens, excuse me? What in the Giga Drill Breaker? Hero Robot Mark Geyer? Geyver? Sure, why not? Why not? That's, uh, let's make it more Japanese. I mean, we had to get a boss battle in somehow. Oh, no, we what the hell? Toko, what should we do? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda We're like my demon's wienerless. So, as long as you have Although there's nothing wrong you, with a wienerless demon that has a wiener, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, we'll what? Fine. Probably. What? Toko? Oh my god. Hero, robot, Mark, it is Guyver, okay. Bro, I'm sure Masaru was f thrilled when he found out that he got gets a giant Once robot. Once I kill you and get the high scores, um, I'm gonna be the demon hunting champ. How does this work? Paradise, Monica, um. Okay, we just run away. Hero. Oh God, he's die! quick. Demons okay. Must die! I don't know. Demons need punishment. Okay. What's the trick here? Okay, we can't make it dance. Oh, oh, it's a chess piece. Okay. All right. So we just wait until, yeah, we just wait until he misses. Yep, and we shoot the Monokuma easy. Okay. Aura, aura. Okay, random JoJo's reference. I'm here for it. Okay, this is actually way too easy. Yeah, because it's way too easy to dodge. Yeah, and then we just get to cook them each time. I mean, to be fair, like, uh, again, I'm, I'm not honestly terrible at... I'm really not that... Okay, here we go. Level two. Special we beat, move. like, the first... Um... How do I avoid that? What's the trick here? I wonder if we're supposed to... Okay, he's blocking it there. No, I'm angry. You serious? I don't want to die. Then we don't have a choice but to fight. Okay. No, I'm angry. I just open. Yep. I literally just What's with that gun? Where did you get that? Yep. That wasn't part of the plan now, was it? Demons must die. You dumbass. I'm the hero. Stop it. This game over, game over, game over. How many more shots do we need? Okay, run away. Ah, oh, damn! I actually tried to get too. I was, I was, I let it. I was letting it be too close. Okay, charging up, charging up. Let it. Take this super piercing drill punch. Damn. Okay. Damn. Die! Demons must die! You're finished! Damn, I actually was just completely missing his ass there. Demons need good Special move! Mega drum damage! Oh, that's it? GG? GG, okay. Yay! I don't know if I did good or bad in that boss battle, to be honest, but it was pretty easy. I did take a few hits that I probably shouldn't have taken, though, but... And more beam. Jesus Christ, that's cool! Holy shit! Bro, that's a flame tornado. What the hell? Yo, that's actually a sick visual. Wow. 
Down goes the, uh, what was it? The hero robot Mark Guyver. Oh, and he's holding his bruised arm now that's limp by his side. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo! What the fuck? What the fuck? The Monokuma kids! What? What the fuck? Um! Oh my god, the music too! What the fuck? Uh, what are they doing to him? Bro, they did not just kill him, did they? What the fuck? They might have. I don't even know. Jesus Christ. Well, that was a sight. I. I okay. What the? Why? They're all kids. Why are they? It's either orders from the top or like a brainwashing mind control thing. I guess either way it would be orders from the top. It just depends on who's the top. It doesn't look like just infighting either. Which means That was the plan cuz he cuz he failed cuz we beat him. N no, it can't. Yep. Yep. This must be some kind of punishment for losing the game. How cruel. I love how they even uh highlighted punishment because it's a very This is a very mo uh, a I don't know why I was about to say a totally different series, but a very Danganronpa thing to do, but it's also, again, it, it, it takes me back to the remnants because it's a very Junko thing to do. Huh? What? N nothing. Forget yeah, it. Yeah, she's Now's even, chance to get out she's even like, she's even trying to like get away from the fact that she said punishment. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. She's like, Komaru doesn't need to know about all that shit, at least not right now. Damn, okay, so the chapter's not over yet, though. I was making sure there isn't any sparklies in the arena. It's actually kind of cool that we're in the arena. I mean, obviously, it would tell me if I need to use detect, because there'd be, like, sparkling of... There'd be extra sparklies, actually. But, uh, yeah, I guess we just go out the, uh, the way we came, yeah. All right, sure, why not? Okay. I, I thought I was a goner for sure that time. You're fine, girl. Don't worry. <sighs> Toko, what happened? Are you hurt? Even though I met one of the ringleaders, I couldn't even get any information out of him. It's okay, to Toko. Don't worry about it. Like where Master Byakuya is? And about that person as well? That person? That person? Yeah. Ugh, I'm no good. What? I'm such a worthless girl. Just trash. An idiotic piece of filth. Oh, God. I swear she's about to go into... If she goes into a fantasy after saying that... Okay, no. thank God she's no, not. No, you're not. Hey, you're not no good trash, and you aren't ugly either. If you're ugly, then I need some more ugly in my life, Toko. Let's just say that. I didn't say ugly. <laughs> you know, stuff in there wow. On your own. wow, wow, wow. Yeah, she Sorry, called herself a filthy piece of trash. The what the fuck, Komaru? Yeah, actually, good point. Yeah, what the fuck, Komaru? Well, we I'm getting like freaking uh, gaslit by Komaru. Master <laughs> In. Oh no, here comes the fantasy. Oh god. Oh my god. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, huh, huh. It's even worse because the slash, the, 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 the slash of the whip almost looks like a cum shot, which is just all I'm thinking about after the previous fantasies. Uh, uh. And get a little bit of blood action. Jesus Christ. I was not expecting Byakuya to be moaning in this game. How I, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to uh, love this or hate this, but I definitely love it. But like, what the fuck? I I won't give in. She's on her way to save me right now. She'll save me. Yes, Toko will save you, man. I believe in her. I'm just imagining Byakuya actually saying this. I believe. In Toko Fukawa. Totally, bro. This is bad. 
This is really bad. Yeah, this is really bad. You're you're you 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 you're, you're going to make a tsunami in your panties, girl. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that uh sure sounds bad. Bro, that fucking like pose where she's holding herself and her eye. Oh my god, that's so funny. Anyway, where do we go from here? I have no fucking clue, Komaru. The subway turned out to be a trap. Where else can we even go? How about instead God of asking knows. me all the time, you use your own brain for once? But, but, oh, I guess you're better than you were before. At least now you want to survive. That's actually a good point. Just stay focused and pay attention to your surroundings. I don't know if confidence is the right way, but after going through this ordeal and surviving, I think she's more determined than ever to continue surviving. Oh. Huh? Isn't that... If I remember, oh. that place should have been buried in rubble, It's right? like we unlocked the subway. For whatever reason, it looks as if the debris was cleared away while we were fighting that brat. I, so if this isn't the, why are you so excited about that, Toko? But, um, that, that's interesting. It's almost like, uh, yeah, it's almost like our path is prepared for us, right? But, um... Uh, what I was gonna say was, uh, I think we'll save this for next episode if this isn't the end of chapter one. If it's the end of chapter one, obviously we're saving it for next episode, but. Then we can get to the subway from there. Oh my god. Kamaru's so excited. What the hell? She's damn near bouncing. Yeah, Toko's like, what the fuck? You really haven't learned your lesson. Think about it. Isn't it a little too convenient? Oh, 100%, but where else are we supposed to go? If this really is just a coincidence, then you're the luckiest girl on the planet. So, you think this is a trap too? It's interesting, we're talking about luck with uh, a Nyagi. But, but if you think about it, something that's obviously a trap might not be a trap, right? Again, there's that uh, super optimism popping out. Just what is going on in that brain of yours? Sometimes I do agree, Toko. Kamaru is a little silly. It, oh my if you God. say it's better not to go, then we won't do it. She's doing the finger but, thing. It's not like I'm telling you not to do it. There's nowhere else to go anyway. Sure. I'm just telling you to prepare yourself if it's a trap. That's fair. Prepare myself? Yeah. Uh, okay. Got it. Okay, cutscene uh, again. I hope it has some light at least. Because if it's as dark as I think it is, we are definitely turning around. It's gonna be all right. I'm with you after all. So, so what? Are you just gonna magically turn the lights on or something? Yeah, no. Uh. Is that. Was that Shiro Kuma? I got a B. Based, okay, so 200, does that mean I get 200 coins? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck? You did well. I guess you've earned some praise for now. Thank you, master. I appreciate it. From here on, I'll allow you to stay by my side. You'll allow me to stay by your side? Oh, thank you, Master Byakuya. Oh, thank you. What the fuck? Oh, 300 coins. Never mind. I thought we were only getting 200. I had a feeling we were getting coins. Chapter 1, Crying for Love in Hell End. To be continued. Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen... Boys and girls, everyone else. Oh, human beings can be awful cruel. Can be awful cruel? Wouldn't, shouldn't it be awfully cruel? What the hell? Um, well, we beat chapter one of Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. So, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, chapter one only took two episodes, I believe, because the prologue was episode one. Chapter two took two episodes. I guess that's kind of a potential guide map for the series. Um, if I can get through each chapter in two videos, that would be fantastic. I don't know how realistic that is. 
I don't know if the chapters are going to be all be a similar length to chapter one. If that's the case, then I probably will get through all the chapters in two episodes. But um, I really just don't know. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the chapters uh, get progressively longer, potentially. Uh, this is all new to me. But because this is very different from Danganronpa 1 or Danganronpa 2. Uh, but it does seem like we might have established a structure, at least in regards to the end game of the chapter, is that we're going to have a boss battle with one of the kids. Because you presume, what, there's, so there, we, we beat, um, it seems like the order, it seems like the order Based on everything that, like, because even the kids, like, even the, 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 the detect things, we even got those in a specific order. Um, but I've seen, we've seen this order before. It's, um, the only part where it's different is in the, uh, in the OP, it's slightly different. But I, I think the order is going to be most likely Masaru, Jotaro, Kotoko, Nagisa, and Monica. Which would make sense that Monica's last because Monica's clearly the devil. And if she's not the mastermind, she's at least the mastermind of the Warriors of Hope. Even if she's not the overall mastermind of the game, that could be Nagito or another remnant. Fuck off if it's somehow Junko. I'm going to fucking lose my mind. But... Um, but the point is, is that... Um... Whatever the case may be in regards to that, I'm assuming that might mean there's only five chapters, though. Uh, but I could also see the chapter six being we have to fight like Nagito or we have to fight some other potato that isn't a warrior of hope. I, I could totally see that happening as well. Um, but it's also possible there's only five chapters of this game. Um, but and if that is the case, then that even further will uh, lead to this game being a lot shorter potentially in the Let's Play department. But um, and just in general. But um, yeah, I'm assuming we'll fight because yeah, technically it didn't immediately end, but basically we ended the chapter with fighting Masaru, and I'm assuming. We're going to end every chapter with the boss battle against um, the appropriate character and presumably their giant robot. Um, and, and that could be really fun. So I, I, I like that. I think that's like an interesting way to do like the climax of the chapter because in the process we get to really dive deeper into the trauma that each of these kids have experienced in their lives and, and helped... Um, shape them to, to who they are now so we get to like we get interesting stuff with the kids involving their issues and I think that's exciting because it's something that I like it like I like I like the way this is structured I like the fact that we're getting like uh fucked up stuff with the kids I think that's really cool and I like that the boss battles can coincide with us getting, like, the reveals of the worst of it, right? Because, like, obviously we can get hints and teases, some more obvious than others. But with uh, Masaru, we got the deets uh, in the context of, in the build-up, basically, to the fight. We got to learn about how he got beaten, and he has, he has you know, like, uh, trauma about, like, the alcohol smell. And I assume, same with, like, the cigarette smell and everything. And, um, you know, his, uh, parent or parents fucked him up all the time. And it was a really traumatic experience for him. And it led him down this road along with the other warriors of hope and whatever traumas they suffered. Like I said, Monica's is going to have, has to have something to do with her condition. And, um, Kotoko's is obviously going to be of a sexual nature, um, which leaves us with the two other boys. And like I said, Jotaro's likely has to do with his appearance. And, 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 you know, and like I said, potentially even being, um, like, like, uh, scarred, uh, really young or whatever. Uh, Nagisa's, like I said, is the one where I don't ever read on what Nagisa's trauma could be. I mean, it could be anything really. It's probably going to be something that doesn't really line up much with the others, though. It, it does seem like, um, one of the things that Ultra Despair Girls is trying to do is um, explore these different types of uh, traumatic experiences through a child perspective. 
Uh, and, and that's why I think each character is going to have kind of their own unique trauma. So, like, Masaru's trauma was related to, like, beating people and, uh, you know, getting beat. And in the process, he actually beat himself to try and not be afraid. So... Uh, that that's also interesting is it's like it's like the the possibility of the psychology of indulging in the trauma to overcome the trauma when in reality you're not actually overcoming the trauma i think that's like a really interesting like concept that might be a direction here because like you know uh jotaro hates himself and wants people to hate him and i'm sure that's like a weird response to his trauma um, I'm scared to even, even get into Kotoko. Like, I am horrified. Like, I, the Kotoko stuff is gonna be wild. I don't know how wild, but it's gonna be wild. I just know it's gonna be insane. And then, um, Nagisa, again, I don't really know what Nagisa's necessarily would be. And Monica's has to have something to do with her, um, her, um, her body. Like, her, well, I guess... All, most of them have to do with the bot. Actually, all, basically all of them have to in some form or fashion. You know what I mean. Her, um, her disability and 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 um, I, I like I said, I I don't know exactly what to expect with Monica's either. And it's interesting because if my predictions are correct, Nagisa and Monica will be the final two potatoes. But I, I Monica's, I feel like you know it's gonna have some correlation to that. The only, I guess the only, like, glaring thing about Nagisa is how smart he is. So maybe, maybe it's going to have something to do with his intelligence. Like, maybe his parents were, like, jealous of him or something. I don't know. It's really hard for me to uh, grasp anything from what we've seen so far, at least, with Nagisa. But I like what they're doing so far with this game. I think this game's really interesting. Like I said, I think the gameplay's fine. Like, it's decent. Um... Not really my cup of tea necessarily, but like I'm not a big gamer anyways, so I don't really care that much anyways. Like part of the reason like I, I want to play games that I think for the most part, especially on the channel, because I don't play a lot of video games really um, outside of the channel. I, I, you know, every once in a while, but I'm not much of a gamer, uh, even though I have, you know, my PS5 and you know, I, I'll play the occasional game, whether, you know, on PS5 or on Steam or whatever. But generally speaking, I'm not much of a video game potato, especially because, like I said, a decent bit of my free time, especially when I'm, you know, actually grinding like I have been in recent months. I spend a decent amount of my time either, you know, my free time either chilling, watching like stuff or uh, recording videos for you guys. Uh, that's kind of like the main things. And I don't even know I, whether you'd consider that free time or not because it's kind of like, I mean, it's a hobby, uh, the whole like uh, video content creation thing. But um, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, I really am liking the direction this game's going. And I already really appreciate how... Like, it's weird because it does scare me, but I also appreciate, like, how far the game's going in the sense that they're not shying away from, like, these really fucked up issues. And, like, the game is rated M for mature, and um, it, it fucking means it. Like, it's already clear that this game is fucked up and is only going to get worse as we get deeper in. And I really like how the game really emphasizes these, like, really fucked up themes. And it's like... You don't, people don't want to think about these themes through children, but these things happen to children. And it's important for us to recognize that and realize that, you know, these children go th suffer. And I feel like this game is like a really interesting piece because like Danganronpa, um, I, I feel like Danganronpa, like a lot of the commentary of Danganronpa has been about like, you know, hope, right, and in different forms, but really when you look at the second game, which I feel like you have to kind of almost marry the first two games to fully, you know, get the full experience anyways, um, it was about, like, always moving forward and, and looking to the future, and that, you know, that has carried over into this game, but um, it feels like this game is really, like, diving into, like, um, tra trauma response and, like, really interesting commentary about, um, you know, traumatic incidences as, as a child and how they shape us. And 
they're doing it in the in the interesting lens of how these kids who aren't even adults yet are have already been shaped by their traumas. It's actually really cool. And I don't know, I've seen that much that really kind of dives into this topic. It's really interesting. I really like what they're doing with this game. And while I'm terrified for Kotoko specifically, because that's going to be wild, um, I'm really excited for this because it's going to be fucked up. You know I like fucked up shit. I can handle it. Like, I, even if it gets pretty gross with um our pink haired girl like I-, I can handle it but like i said it it's it's clear to me this is gonna get fucked i don't know how far it's gonna go but it's gonna go far i know that so obviously this is gonna get into topics that not everyone's gonna want to watch and i'm starting to already assume part of the reason this game is controversial is probably because of the themes it it touches and I get that the themes aren't for everyone. I definitely think that, um, this is really, really interesting stuff though. And I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it. The game itself, I think is kind of fine. Um, but I actually think the story is really good so far. And I think it's only going to get better because we're only in chapter one and you know, Danganronpa games don't peak in chapter one. I think that's pretty, um, obvious to say the least, but I'm excited for more. And uh, my back is starting to really kill me, so I'm probably going to... Well, I'm going to finish this recording. I'm going to get it rendered, uh, edited and rendered and uploaded real quick. But then I'm going to probably lay down because I my back is killing me. I was planning on recording two sessions, but we ended up finishing the chapter anyways. So I think I'm good at least for a day. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So without any further ado, I think it's time for me to bid you adieu. Um... Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you all have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.